right, so I should get to where I need to go by 12. My appointment's at one, so I actually have been like trying really hard to get into a Home Goods Marshalls or TJ Maxx because I need to get some stuff for Thanksgiving. Um, let me figure out where I'm trying to go first. You ready, guys? Quick shopping. I did my hair differently. I don't know if I showed you. Um, but I, it's like already fallen out, which is why I kind of don't like using my big barrel at nighttime because the second I sleep on it, it like doesn't stay and I don't want to hold any, I don't want to put any like holding stuff in my hair, but I feel like this would be just a nice look having it like straightened and not curled. So if I just like use the curling iron to give it like a little bit of body and like curl at the bottom, I feel like this is nicer. It takes like the crank out of the back because I usually have like crazy cranks. So maybe I'll just, see, I'll just continue to have my hair like this. Come all ye faithful, joyful and triumphant. Come ye, come ye to Bethlehem. Come. a pretty hefty budget when it comes to Christmas decorations and Thanksgiving stuff but I don't want to just buy anything so I was walking around the store and I was kind of like I don't really know if I like anything here and I feel a little rushed and I don't want to just like rush and buy a bunch of stuff so I ended up leaving empty-handed which is fine I'm gonna head to my microblading appointment I don't think I'm gonna be able to like really like film I don't know we'll see but I guess we'll see afterwards what my eyebrows look like. Say bye to my eyebrows like this. Bye eyebrows. Bit of paper left under the pool of coffee Try to remember what I wrote And you just laugh We better have a talk Think it might last until it's dark When the candlelights are out I really think it's goodbye How we spend our days It's tragic in so many ways I stumbled to the door I couldn't take it anymore I took a leap of faith And then I was gone
Hi guys, so when I walked into the house earlier before, it was just like sheer chaos. So I wasn't able to pick up my camera. I was also rushing back home. Um, not because I was late by any means, but I felt bad because Dan was with the kids all day long and that's why you're seeing me now, but the babies are asleep and Dan's asleep and I can sit down and I can kind of talk to you guys about like the whole process and like kind of how it went. So microblading is when they make small little incisions, like little scrapes and cuts into your skin where your eyebrows are and then they fill that with pigment and then they wipe it away and then um, the pigment fills into those tiny little scrapes and crevices and stays there but everything that you wipe away that's on top of the surface is removed. So that's what microblading is. It's like my little micro blades that are scraping your skin and it's not as deep as the tattoo so it doesn't last Forever it will last for like I've seen anywhere from like 9 to 18 months depending on like how well you take care of your skin Whether you have like really oily skin or really dry skin. There's like a bunch of different factors my first experience with microblading now that I have had my Second experience with it. My first experience was just like completely botched To the point where they didn't even numb me properly because I had felt the entire procedure this time it felt like nothing. It felt like she was like poking at my skin, but it didn't. It wasn't even like a painful poke. It was just like I could feel it. I went and I got my eyebrows microbladed again, and I really love them. I really love them. I love the fact right now they look a little like agitated and like intense because they're now starting the phase of like healing and. I've just had a bunch of scraping, so they're like puffy and, and angry. I'll put some photos here for you so that you guys can kind of see really closely like what they look like. For a little while, they're gonna look dark and they're gonna go through like metamorphosis and just <laughs> be forever changing until they heal properly. I really, really like the shape. I'm, I'm still getting used to it a little because I naturally had to draw on my eyebrows really thick to cover up my old microblading So I'm used to having like significantly thicker eyebrows So it was just really comforting to know that I was in really good hands Fantastic girl. She's hilarious um, It was it felt like I was just kind of hanging out with a friend for a few hours So if you guys are located anywhere near I am if you're anywhere near Mayapak, New York um, You need to go and get your eyebrows microbladed from her <laughs> She's also just so happens to be like one of the most affordable microbladers in like all of this area. So you're getting someone who's like super qualified and like one of the best deals. So that was my microblading experience and now I just have the daunting task of making sure they don't get infected and like really taking care of them <laughs> with two toddlers <laughs> and a diaper rash in the house. Okay. That's Willa's aquaphor. This is my aquaphor. Willa's aquaphor. That's your butt aquaphor. That's my eyebrow aquaphor. That's your butt aquaphor. That's my eyebrow aquaphor. Your butt aquaphor away from my eyeball aquaphor. Please. But yeah, I really like them. Like, I feel like I legit have eyebrows, which if you guys saw my before photos, I didn't have any eyebrows. And for the, and for the record, I don't pluck my eyebrows. <laughs> Someone commented that like like I have an addiction and I need to just like have self-control and stop plucking my eyebrows I haven't plucked my eyebrows since 2007 <laughs> They don't grow. I've been waiting Waiting a long time. Anyway folks that is it for today's video. It's a short one, but today was just like one of those days I instead of not putting a video out at all. I figured I'd at least Keep you guys updated on the eyebrow saga anyway thank you guys so much for watching this video as always we love you if you're new to our channel please subscribe um if you're new to our channel good for you for missing all the videos of me with like jacked up eyebrows you came to a good <laughs> a good video <laughs> you just so happen to just weasel your way past all like <laughs> these videos this is like the longest outro ever in my entire life. I'm sorry. Okay, I'm gonna go now. Bye. Bye. The world could fall down, it's gonna be okay. The sun could go.